Okay, let us discuss some problem. So you have been given a compound. So let us draw the diagram. And you have to tell me how will you prepare this compound. How will you prepare this compound? And the method is called Robinson Enulation. So even if you don't know anything about Robinson Enulation, there is no problem. You can do this problem. So let us do this problem. How will you prepare this compound? I will give you a hint. What is the hint you see here? If you see, I have to take one cyclohexanone. So cyclohexanone, so let us assume cyclohexanone is given to you. So you have cyclohexanone. And now then you see this compound is alpha-beta unsaturated compound. So alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So now you can think something about aldol condensation kind of reaction because you get alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound only in case of aldol condensation. Now see, you also have to add this bond also. So you have been given cyclohexanone. You have not been given this form. So you have to basically a add one bond this also. So this means, and this also this is a carbonyl compound. So there will be minus, that is a carbon ion you can generate. So if this attacks somewhere here, you will get this kind of compound. So you can take uh, conjugated compound. In that case, you will have one for attack. That is the N of int. So let me wait for two minutes. How many of you are able to do? Let me see. Okay. So maybe some of you have done the correct. So let us discuss. Let us analyze this problem. What the problem says. You see what you have. Here you have a bond that is formed. So basically I have to break this one and I can also break this one if I have something like this. Now you see I can break this bond and then I can only form this bond if I have something like this. So there is a CH3 and if I make minus here, so if I make minus and this attacks here, then I will get the compound. So CH2 minus. So this suggests and I also know I have to form this bond also. So I have to break in the next step this bond also. So if I break this bond, if I take this kind of compound, that is a dicarbon, so one for conjugated diene, in that case I can form minus air, and in that case if I form a minus air, it attacks here, and this goes here, this goes here, things will be fine. Are you getting or not? So let us first draw and then we will discuss. So what you are doing? So if you take this compound and this compound, you will get the product. So let me show you the mechanism. How will you do? So in the first step, you will make carbon ion here. This will attack here. This goes here. This opens up. And after tautomerization, you will get this compound. So what will happen in the first step? So let me write here. Are you able to see or not? So initially you have this compound. H. You will make carbon ion here and this carbon ion there is a double bond here C is 3 this carbon ion will basically attack here there is a double bond and this double bond will go here this double bond will come here so you can add this one and then you tautomerize you will get this compound are you getting or not if you do tautomerize and you do your own you will get this compound and again if you do aldol you will get this compound alpha beta and if you heat you can lose OH, H2O. So you just try your own, you will get the idea. I will again suggest to you what we are doing. First step, I, if I take this compound and this compound, first I will generate a carbon and this carbon and attacks here, this goes here, this goes here. And if I do tautomerization, if I take H plus and do tautomerization, I will get this. So this step to this step, I will get if I add H plus and do tautomerization. Now in the next step, if I take once again H plus from here and then attack here and then open up, then form OH and then lose H2O, you will get this compound. Now let me ask another question. So you see, these attacks are conjugate attack, not this is a 1-4 attack. So this is a 1-4 addition. So this kind of attack is called conjugate attack and this also has a name and this reaction is called Michael addition reaction. So attack of a carbon ion on a conjugate tag or alpha beta unsaturated compound is called Michael addition. So what is so this reaction is also called 
Michael Edison. If you remember, did you remember or not? We have already discussed in the lecture. So this is a Michael Edison. So this conjugate addition of a nucleophile is called Michael addition. So did you remember conjugate addition? That is one four addition. If one two attack is there, that is called direct addition. If there is a one four attack is there, then it's called conjugate addition. Now let us discuss the next problem. If I see how will you prepare this compound? Again, you have to take. So you see whether you will break. You have to take cyclohexane. You don't have to. So it means you have to uh, basically attach a cyclohexane ring with some other thing. So you see what? How will you analyze? So you see this bond. There is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So this is a alpha beta unsaturation is there, and there is a one but double bond. One bond single bond has been formed. This means this must have come from a double bond here. It should be so. I can take these two compound. If you see, if I break these two bond, I break this bond. I if I break this bond, I can take this compound something like this. In the first step, I will make a carbon ion here. This carbon ion attacks here. This attacks here. This attacks here. So this all happening in the presence of OH minus. And then if I tautomerize and if I lose water, I will get this compound. So what we are the two steps. So tautomerization. tautomerization and loss of water so these are the two steps you see in this question what we have done we have made a cycle we have made a ring we have a ring and we have added another ring so this kind of reaction is called cyclization reaction and in a broader sense this reaction is also called robinson annulation reaction so now you know what is robinson annulation so if you have a ring and you attach another ring by generally this is done by conjugate addition or michael addition conjugate this is a aldol reaction aldol kind of reaction but we generally call it some michael addition because this is a conjugate addition so if i attach a ring to a ring this is called annulation and this reaction is followed by michael addition is called robinson annulation so total process is called robinson annulation We'll discuss the next problem.